Chapter 3 The Magic of Visualization The oldest story of visualization came from the very first Bibles. Indeed, you will read that Jacob wanted to produce spotted cattle in order to be allowed to marry Rachel. What did he do? He cut little round bits of bark off the trees and laid these pieces of wood at the bottom of a clear stream where the cattle drank. Every time the beasts looked into the water, they visualized these spots, and their offspring brought Jacob his longed for spotted cattle. Spotted cattle. A more recent story of visualization came to light when Joseph Kennedy, a coloured man who went to his work repairing prems with only four shillings and sixpence in his pocket, began to visualise. By little instalments he bought a ticket in the Irish sweepstake. He placed it in a Bible and visualised every night that he would make a fortune. He visualised himself as coming into untold wealth. He could see this wealth coming to him. He had no shadow of doubt about it. He believed. Then one day he paused to listen to the broadcast of the Derby and when he heard that Cameronian had won and brought him a fortune of £30,000 he slipped to his knees in front of the radio and solemnly gave thanks. Visualization had brought out the magic in his mind and he was now a rich man. When you had only four and sixpence in your pocket did you visualize? The great psychologist said go and replenish but look at the world look at the hospitals that is how man has replenished and all because he has never been taught that he is his own creator. Every time you use your mind you create. 24-7 vibrating out to the universe creating the circumstances, events and people that are currently in your life. You produce a mental picture that immediately takes form. Like the man who visualized the pen knife